Hello? Anybody there? You're really expecting an answer. I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. Hmm, charming. Well, what do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. What am I supposed to do? Sing to it? Looks like a paper clip. Looks like a paper clip. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paper clip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to work. Oh, ye of little faith. No ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Looks like desk drawers to me. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Oh, Joey. Yeah? I think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. All right, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. All right, pal. Take a deep breath and relax. Relax? Relax? You think I can relax? If I could relax, you'd think I'd be out here? I don't know. Why don't you tell me about it? Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? Um, this rain? Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because... Ah, forget it. Um, I think this might be too little too late. What do you mean? I mean you can't kill yourself. You're already dead. What? I said you're already dead. That's sick. You're insane. Get off my ledge. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while. You might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no. Just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. 
What do you want to talk about? Listen, Alan, concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange, out of place, or off kilter? No. You don't remember falling? Falling? No, of course not. I came out here and stayed. I haven't jumped yet. Right, right. Never mind. Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. Even Sandra. Sandra? My wife. Hey, there's some venture capitalist inside. Wants to talk to you about starting another business? Really? Someone wants to start a business with me. That's what she said. Why don't you come inside and talk to her? Well, okay. There's your investor. She's heard about your old business and wants to join forces. Is that right? You bet. This isn't some kind of gag? Of course not. She's loaded. Go on, talk to the lady. So, what's the story? You really want to invest in a bankrupt publishing supply company? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? Well, uh... I've heard good things about you. Oh, really? From who? Oh, people in the biz. The biz? Yes, you know, word gets around. Nobody would say good things about me. I think you're full of it. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to impress him with your business know-how. Way to put me on the spot. Let's chat a second. What is it? Hey, why don't you try snooping around? You think there's a clue here? There's got to be something. If we knew more about the guy, we might be able to save him. Have you tried talking to him? It's like running into a brick wall. Well, if anyone's an expert on going through a brick wall, it's you. Huh? You know, being a ghost and all. <laughs> oh, cute. You just gonna stand there? Do something? I'm doing the best I can. What else can I do? Investigate. Move stuff around. Use those hands and arms. I gotta think of everything? It's a long way down from here. If you want to jelly up the pavement, this is a good place to make sure it's done right. That's kind of tasteless. Just saying. Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. There's nothing else in the desk. There's nothing on there but dust. There's nothing on there. Joey's been around for almost, maybe someday I'll actually get used to this.
Joey, I'd like to talk. Uh-huh. So what should we do now? There's our spook. Why don't we talk to him? I'm glad my notebook is okay. I thought it would get soaked in the rain, but it's fine. Well, thank heaven for that. We'd be goners for sure. Be quiet. So what should we do? There's a... I'm glad I thought... Well, we'd be... Be quiet. A man jumped out of a window in this building. Suicide? Seems so. I wonder if it was one of these windows. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. That's all for now. Sure. I'm going to take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well, all right. There she is. That's, That's my, my wife? wife? That's, That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. Sandra, is that really you? Uh, sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Why are you here, Sandra? Well, uh... I, uh, made a mistake, Alan. I shouldn't have left you. A mistake? Why should I trust you now, Sandra, after you left and sick lawyers on me, taking what little I had left? You destroyed me, Sandra. If I jump, it'll be your fault. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to go. I've never been a wife before. I'm going to take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. Hey, Alan. Oh. The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50, overweight, and not to mention broke. What woman would want me? Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. Do you like redheads? Sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. You do? Sure, she's inside. Wanna meet her? Is this a trick? Of course not. Okay. There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kinda young for me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. What are you doing? Shh, go on, Tiger. She's waiting. So? You've been asking about me. Oh, um, sure. Really? Why? Well, uh... I, um, think you're cute. Cute? Yes. Me? Sure. Please, this is some kind of gag. No, really. I have a mirror. I'm not blind. Don't patronize me. You've got some angle, I don't like it. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. Hey, wait, she was trying to be nice. Did you just try to set me up? Just call me Matchmaker Malone. I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. I'm gonna take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. Hey, yeah. Oh. So you ran your business into the ground? Well, yeah, I guess. And I thought you were a businessman. I am a businessman. Not anymore, you're not. No, I'm not. You're just a little man with a big office and a view he doesn't deserve. And you're way too old and tired to start over. Yeah, what's the point? So your wife left you, huh? 
Yeah. Figures. What? Look at yourself. Everyone knows that if a ship is sinking, you abandon it. I can't blame her for leaving. Anybody would. That's... That's... <sighs> completely true. Ah. Man, this is cruel, even for me. One more blow to his ego, and he's bound to go over the edge. Do I really want to save him this way? You know, you're right. I can't think of any woman who would be attracted to you. You really think so? Sorry, pal, that's the way I see it. I always thought that. But to hear someone else say it, it hits very close to home. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I think you do. I do? You're looking right down at it. You're right. You're so right. It's over. It's... this is it. Huh? Oh. I've been here before. I'm sorry. But it was an accident. I wasn't really going to jump. I was going to go back in. It's too late now. I slipped and fell. I didn't want to jump. I remember. I remember falling. Wishing I had a second chance. But maybe... Maybe it's for the best. I didn't have much to live for anyway. I'm sorry, pal. So what now? I haunt this ledge forever? No, I'm here to help you move on. Just come inside with me. Are you ready, Alan? I guess. Let's get this over with. Just take a hold of this. All right. Okay, do it. Hmm, I can't help but think we could have handled that better. work, but we got him in the end. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. last article I wrote for the Village Eye. It was also my very first case as a medium. Twelve steps to getting your first novel published. Parts one and two. I never could get past step number four. Twelve step. I never could get. My computer. It's not the latest model, but it does the job. I don't want to. 
Podcast. Those are fine where they are. Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. I don't know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him since I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. I sold all of my books to a used bookstore last month. Didn't take long for the shelf to fill up again. It's an African ghost drum. It's supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It doesn't work. It's fine where it is. Yeah, it's fake, but you can hardly tell. It's fine where it is. It's full of rejection letters from publishers best place for them. I'm not rooting through my trash. I threw that stuff. Joey? Can I help you? I know I'm forgetting something. Well, maybe you should have written it down. You know, I think I did. Do you remember where? No. Well, there you go. Where do you think I wrote it down? Wrote what down? That thing I'm forgetting. If I wrote it down, you must have seen me do it. You're always writing stuff down, sweetheart. When you start scribbling away, I just tune out. I know I'm forgetting something important, like I'm supposed to do something or go somewhere. You sure you don't know what it is? What am I, a calendar? Just forget it. I know I'm... You sure... What am I... Just forget... This is going to drive me crazy. What am I forgetting? All your bills paid this month? Laundry done? It's nothing like that. It's something important. So what should we do now? Do? Nothing. A ghost is saved, the day is done. Nothing else for us except to cool our heels and relax. That's all for now. Sure. Seven p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Oh crap! What time is it? Seven fifteen. Damn it! She's going to kill me. What's your problem? The gallery opening. Don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us. All right, me. 
but you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. Do what you like. It's not like I have a choice. You coming? Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. are we? I have no idea where the park gallery is. Oh, too. Looks like another night writing on the computer. Maybe using the computer isn't a bad if you are. It's about time. Let's scram. Wow, I feel cultured already. Shh. Hi, are you here for the opening? Yes. Great, but I'm sorry. I think you came on the wrong night. The public opening's in two days. Tonight's a private showing. Oh no, I'm with someone. Nishanti Sharma, is she here? Really? Let me check. Nish? Nish? Yes? Someone here says she knows you. That must be Rosa. It's all right, Josie. She's with me. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Sure. Anyway, I'm Josie Park, and this is the Park Gallery. Man, she's clever. I bet she came up with that all by herself. Go on in. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. How'd you find the place? The internet. Oh, of course. I should really try using it one of these days. I know I've been kind of flaky lately. Oh, don't worry about that. No need to stress on my account. Besides, you look exhausted. Are you all right? I'm fine. All right, if you say so. So, who's your friend? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. This is Monique Stallman. Monique, this is my neighbor, Rosa, the one I was telling you about. You were talking about me? She was just telling me that she had a famous writer for a neighbor. Famous? I'm hardly famous. I haven't had anything published yet. She writes ghost stories, Monique. Nish, please. Go on, tell her. It's hardly the time or place. What's wrong? Oh, Monique here has a fascinating ghost story to tell. I wouldn't call it fascinating, per se. Please, it sends shivers down my spine. Wait until you hear it. It's about Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons? The actor? Nish, please. Sorry, Monique, just getting carried away. I would like to hear the story, actually. See? I told you. Well, all right, but let's not talk about it here. Here's my card. If you want to talk, drop by my office tomorrow. We can discuss it in private. Thanks. I'll drop by. Thanks for inviting me. I'm glad you could make it. For a while, I was worried that I'd be here all by myself. But Monique was interesting company. So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, same old thing. Practicing my flute, walking the dog, trying to get out more, although this weather isn't making it easy. I think I'll browse around. Sure, Rosa. Enjoy yourself. Hi, Nishanti. Hello, Ro I think I'll browse. Sure. I don't think Josie would like that. Really bold lines. This would look great in my bedroom. That's Josie Park, the gallery's curator. She seems nice enough. He must be an artist. This painting is called The Dark Lady. I don't think Josie would like that. From a certain angle, it looks like a street corner. These paintings look like part of a set. These paintings look like part of a set. It looks pretty abstract. I 
I don't think Josie would like that. These look like impressionist skyscrapers. Not These look like impressionist skyscrapers. Not bad act. This is just the fire exit. If I need to leave, I'll go out the way I came in. Hi there. Josie Park, was it? Yep, yeah, that's me. And you are? Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela? What a neat name. Anyway, nice to meet you. So, are you Josie Park, as in the Park Gallery? Yep, yeah, this place is mine. We just opened. Well, technically we open in two days, but it's my gallery. If I say we're open, then poof, <laughs> we're open. Ooh, watch out. She's so sharp, she might cut herself. You have some interesting pieces here. Yeah, interesting's the word. You like them? Sure. Did you hear that, Claude? Yeah. He's convinced that nobody will understand his work. She said she liked them, not that she understood them. Oh, you. Pay no attention. So, you're a friend of Nishanti's? Oh, Nish? Isn't she marvelous? She comes to all the art events. That's how I know her. So, you're the artist? Yeah. This is Claude Erden, my discovery. Some discovery? I've been painting on your street corner for eight years. Yes, and I've seen you improve. When I got the funding to open this gallery, I knew Claude would be my breakout artist. We're having the public opening in two days. You should come. Don't count on it, lady. Well, I'm going to look around some more. Sure, have fun. Really bold lines. This would look great in my bedroom. From a certain angle, it looks like a street corner. These look like impressionist skyscrapers. Not bad, actually. I know that area. That's Astor Place. This painting is called The Dark Lady. He must be an artist. I can't talk to Joey here. Hi again. Hi, Rosa. Well, I'm going to look. Sure, have fun. Hi, Nishanti. Hello, Rose. I think I'll brush. Sure, Rose. Rosa, you're not leaving now, are you? Um... We were just about to get started on the wine. Why don't you join us? Come on, come on, let's get out of here. Well, please stay. We hardly see enough of each other as it is. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. Come on, Josie. There's five of us here. That means it's a party. Pour more of that wine and let's get it started. <sighs> Happened. How did I get here? Is this how your generation treats the duty? What? Who are you? Someone who has been here far too long. I don't understand. It does not matter. We will meet again soon. Continue your sleep. You will forget me when you wake up. Your time will come soon. I just pray that you are ready. Well, look who's up. Ugh. Enjoyed the free booze a little too much, huh? Ugh. Clear the cobwebs, kid. We've got work to do. Yeah, I know.
You coming? Yeah. I have no idea who. There's nothing in here but trash bags. Nishanti isn't home. Come in. Hi, Monique? Oh, hello. You're Nishanti's friend, aren't you? The writer? Yeah, that's me. I almost didn't recognize you standing upright. Huh, <laughs> right. I don't usually drink that much. Well, we all make mistakes. Please don't close the window. There's a reason why it's open. Please don't close. There's a reason why. Nice view from up here. Nice view. Nice view from. I saw a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. So, what do you do here at CubeStar? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done, on time, and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I like her. So, you have a ghost story, is that right? Oh, yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes, it was all over the news. You know what happened. I know he died, but that's all I know. Yes, he's dead. I saw him die. He died while filming his last scene. It was tragic and all, but in the end, we had to finish the movie. We found a lookalike to complete the scene and then released it. That should have been the end of it. The film was a smash hit. Really? It was that good? No, it wasn't. People only turned up because a man's death was attached to it. For years, we tried to create a moneymaker. And this is how we did it. Be careful what you wish for, Rosangela. That's all I'll say. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him calling me. Really? It's like he's, well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my ghost story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Let's talk, Joey. What could it possibly be? Joey, that's Frank Lyons. Is he now? It's so rare that we know the spook's name in advance. Save so much time. What should I say to him? Say? He's a spook like any other. But, you know, he was in showbiz. How do you talk to people like that? Just act naturally, sweetheart. Natural? You know, nervous. That's natural for you. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try and talk to the guy. At a girl? Maybe one of these days you'll talk to a guy who's actually breathing. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try and... Attic, maybe. Hmm. Did you really have to stare at Monique like that? What's your problem? It's not like she can see me. It's unprofessional, that's all. You're just jealous. Did you really have to... What's your problem? It's unprofessional, that's all. You're just jealous. See? It was a good thing we went to the game. Hmm? You didn't want to go, but we ended up getting a case. Ended up getting hammered is more like it. Don't look so smug, kid. Things like this will happen all the time. So what should we do? There's our spook. That's all for now? Sure. I knew you'd come. No, I knew you'd come. Um, hi there. I knew you'd come. Are you Frank Lyons? Um, oh, ha ha, very funny. Let's get back on track, huh? <clears throat> I knew you'd come.
You did? Yes, I did. Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, what's not right? Never mind, we can do it again. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Yvonne? Who's Yvonne? Um, you are? <sighs> okay, no problem. We'll just start over. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Why do you keep repeating yourself? Uh, no. No, that's not right either. What are you talking about? Look, don't worry about it. We can do it again, right? Do what again? Okay, one more time. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Listen, I have to tell you something. No, no, that comes later. Try and concentrate, will you? Let's get through this and then we can go home. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. I have no idea what you are talking about. Look, I didn't write this, okay? Let's just work with what we're given, and then we'll laugh about it later. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. How did you know- I know you. Look, I just want to talk to you. Are you sure that's right? Yes, just for a few minutes. No, I don't think that's right. Let's try again. What are you- <clears throat> I knew you'd come. I know you. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. No. Listen to me. We have to talk. I... What? Yeah. Now I'm messed up. Let's start over, okay? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. How did... I know you. Listen. Come on boat what boat what boat come on let's just <clears throat> i knew you how did i know you listen come on no we have to talk i what yeah now i'm messed up let's start over okay <clears throat> i knew you'd come could i ask you a couple of questions huh oh come on that's not even close let's try it again <clears throat> i knew you'd come Never mind. We'll talk later. Yeah, I think you need to practice some more. Hey, Joey? What could it possibly be? Okay, I'm going to try and talk to the guy. At a maybe. Hmm. That's all? Sure. Is that right? No, wait. I know this. Hello? Oh. Hey, you with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet him out here. I guess they're late. Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... Thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. So, we're on a movie set? Yep. yep. The film is called Water Under the Bridge. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, lips are sealed. Could you tell me the last thing you remember? What do you mean? I've just been hanging out here. And before that? I was... Hmm. Funny thing. Yes? The Minetta. The Minetta? Yeah. I was there. I'm always there. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. 
Listen, Frank, you seem like a swell guy, but I have to be honest. You're dead. What? I mean it. You've been haunting this area for months now. Ha. Very funny. My career might have one foot in the grave, but it's not dead yet. My ship will come in. You'll see. So, tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. <laughs> oh, come on. There's got to be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. So, tell me about... Oh, I'm just walk... <laughs> oh, I don't really need any... I'm not in the... I just want to... Just what is the Mineta? Mineta? Yeah, what is it? The Mineta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find a willing ear there, and some donations for the fund. The fund? What fund? Yes, they are very kind. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what? Like you... Oh, never mind. What can you tell me about Monique? Miss Stallman? She's a good lady. I just wonder where she is. You expecting her? Yeah. We can't start without the executive producer, can we? I could swear I saw her run by a couple of times, but why wouldn't she stop? I don't think Monique is coming, Frank. Hmm. She usually comes to every shoot. I guess we can do it without her, but it'll just feel weird. Oh well. Anything else you can tell me about Monique? Not really. I just hope she gets here soon. We're so close to finishing this movie. I wonder what's keeping her. Anything else? Not really. We're so... Hey, have you ever been to the park gal- No, sorry. I've never heard of it. Just what is the Mineta? Mineta? Yeah, what is it? The Mineta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find a willing ear there. And some donations for the fun. The fun? What fun? Yes. They are very kind. Why are you talking like that? Talking, talking like, like what? what? Like you... Oh, never mind. Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. Bye. Last shoot of the film. Come here, darling. Let's chat. Yes? Talking to this guy is like talking to one of them schizos. You mean multiple personality disorder? Yeah, you think he's one of those? Could be. It would explain a lot. Two spooks for the price of one. Fantastic. Figures, we finally get to go to the park and the weather is miserable. At least there's nobody around. We ain't gonna solve this by gabbing at each other. Let's see what this spook has to say. Minetta. I wonder what it could be. Do you have a phone book? Phone book? Who uses a phone book anymore? Sorry I asked. Minetta. Do you have a phone book? Sorry. So who is Frank Lyons anyway? I'm afraid I'm not up to date on pop culture. He's a movie actor. Big? Not really. I don't think he would have been as famous if it weren't for the news reports. Fame after death, huh? Lucky guy. So, I'm a He's big? Not really. I don't... Fame, lucky. You know, I think that Monique lady is pretty suspicious. Oh, really? Oh, yes. We should get back to her office and examine her very closely. Examine her, huh? Or better yet, you stay out in the hall. I'll go in and uh, poke her out. I don't think so. That gallery won't forget you. Don't remind. What got into you anyway? I just felt uncomfortable. I thought it would. They all seemed so sophisticated. Don't envy that crowd, kid. It's all phony anyway. You know, oh, re oh, examine or better. I don't think so. Well, let's. Yeah. Damn it! Where is that woman?
let's get going. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. Black and white pictures. I don't recognize any of them. I don't know much about brands, but it seems like decent stuff. I don't know much. After the other night? No way. Black and white pictures. I don't recognize. He looks pleasant enough, even though it's practically empty in here. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh, no. I'm not here to drink. Not yet, anyway. I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah. Is that a problem? No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like that. Cool. How can I help? What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? Been here forever. 60 or 70 years at least. I've only been here a few weeks myself, so I don't know much of the history. What can you tell me? At six, I've only... I was wondering if you've seen Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. Does a Monique Stallman ever come in here? Never heard of her, sorry. Have you ever... No, sorry. Are you sure you've never seen... Yeah, I'm quite sure. I think he's telling the truth. Doesn't want a hug. Oh, I wish. I can't touch you. Has-beens from days gone... Has-beens from days gone by. There's nothing but empty tables back there. There's nothing but empty ta- There's nothing but empty ta- It's a portrait of an old man. It's a portrait of- Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. Tell me about yourself. Is it relevant? Not really. Then there you go. Tell me about Frank. Frank? He was a solid actor. Not A-list material, but dependable. He could read his lines and hit his marks and look good on camera. He didn't demand much and he was easy to work with. We set him up with an apartment nearby. That was all he needed. That reminds me we still haven't moved his stuff out. I'll have to get on that. Anything else you can tell me about Frank? Like I said, he was the dependable type. He was always willing to work with us, and he worked pretty cheap. I think he was waiting for his next break. He got one all right. Anything if you want, I've told you all I can. Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? Sorry, no. You really rented him an apartment. That's very generous. Not really. The company owns it, and it's rent controlled. We couldn't pay him much, so it was the least we could do. What do you think of Josie Park's gallery? Ugh, dreadful. Josie's a sweet woman, but her taste in art is somewhat questionable. Although it didn't drive me to drink, like some people. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. floating out there unless I've got a reason. Besides, the view is much better in here. I'm 
not float besides. Ah, the quivering of her back means that I did good. Ah, the quivering of her back means that I did good. Nope, I can't leave until she does. Could you tell me where you live? Uh, sorry, but I hardly know you. Aw, oh, come on, you can trust me. I really don't think so. Sorry. Funny thing, I went to the Mineta. They never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went there all the time. I've never heard of the place. You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. But you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... Oh, never mind. Could you tell me what the Joe Gould Fund is? Why, you want to donate a couple of dollars? I would, if you could tell me what it was for. For the upkeep and maintenance of Joe Goulds everywhere, of course. Any Joe Gould in particular? Who is Joe Gould? You know what? Never mind. I'm getting a headache talking to you. Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. What do you mean? No. What do you mean? Last shoot of the film, and we're done. Hi there. Got time? I'm sure. I... What are the chances of you knowing where Frank Lyons lived? You a groupie or something? Uh, no, not exactly. Hell, either way, I can't help you. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or anything called the Joe Gould Fund? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Sometimes I think they should just rename this place the Joe Gould Bar and be done with it. Really? People hear about him and they come in here to ask about him. That's his portrait up there behind you. He died a long time ago. Who was he? He was some homeless guy who wandered the West Village in the 50s and 60s. He told some crazy stories and people found him entertaining. So they gave him money for his food and his beer. He referred to the money as the Joe Gould Fund. He also tried to write a book or something. He never finished it? Nope. Hey, sounds like your soulmate. Anything else you can tell me about Joe Gould? I don't know much else, sorry. If you want to know more, check in another time. Lots of artist types come in here. They all know about Joe Gould. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. It's a portrait of Joe Gould.